Today, we'll be talking about the link between stress and trying to conceive. Hello, and welcome to Fertile Minds. I'm Dr. Julie Buchanan, fertility specialist with Queensland Fertility Group. It can be frustrating for those who are struggling to conceive to hear the advice, just relax and it'll all happen. This can make people feel responsible for causing their fertility problems and leads to further stress. Precisely how stress might reduce fertility is still unknown. It's not clear whether high levels of stress can prevent pregnancy or affect the chances of conceiving. Having less stress in your life may not in and of itself result in pregnancy. However, developing better coping strategies to manage stress can help people be more in control and improve their overall well-being. We always look at lifestyle modifications that may be helpful to reduce stress, including eating a well-balanced diet, reducing alcohol intake, stopping smoking, increasing exercise to a level considered safe for you, assessing sleep patterns to make sure you are getting the right amount. We also like to discuss your support networks, your life work balance and your relationships. There is no harm in practicing mindfulness, meditation or doing yoga. Acupuncture is often something patients turn to if they are having trouble conceiving or undergoing fertility treatment. While studies do not conclusively show that acupuncture leads to higher chances of successful pregnancy, there is no harm if it gives you peace of mind. The goal of stress reduction is to minimise, not eliminate stress, by finding the technique that serves your needs the best. If it's taking longer than expected to conceive, at Queensland Fertility Group, we can conduct a simple fertility tests and assessments to find out what's happening and explore all your options and help you to conceive sooner. Thanks for watching. To stay up to date on all things fertility, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.